Education officials are taking action tonight after a gun was found at a Prattville school. The Otago County Board of Education implementing a new policy they hope will keep students safe. It's a big reason why parents and community members turned out for tonight's meeting. WSFA 12 News reporter Brady Talbert was there and has the story new tonight at 10. Parents packed the Otago County Schools board meeting, many upset after a gun was found at Prattville Junior High School. That is disturbing to me because, I mean, we've seen the things that are going on around the country. Uh, even a six-year-old, you know, brought a gun and shot a teacher. Patrick Lucas has four grandchildren that go to Otago County Schools. He says this incident is traumatizing. I just feel that there need to be more done. Uh, on, on, on stopping some of this behavior because like I can say it's just a matter of time. School officials say the gun was found last week after a student reported it to staff. That's why the school board passed a clear bag policy. School board representative Kim Crockett advocated for the new rule. She says it will only affect Prattville Junior High School and Prattville High School students. I felt it was very important tonight to uh, enact some swift safety measures. I know a lot of people won't agree, but I agree with it because we need to do everything we can to keep our kids safe. School officials say they are still working out the details of this clear bag policy. The date it will go into effect has yet to be released. Brady Talbert, WSFA 12 News. It was on February 21st that uh, Otago County's, it will be February 21st when the Otago County School Board says it will announce that date when students will be required to bring only clear bags to school. The school board chairman says that the board is also looking into ways to getting metal detectors into schools. They say right now they don't have the necessary funding.